aunt and this is what happened when Ryan said Fred met Grace. <laughs> I do like to point it out straight away because I am aware that I'm bald, I am aware I have a little bit of weight because people do like to point it out. Not just at comedy gigs, um, only the other week I was at a bus stop and I got heckled. Uh, this car went past. Now, does anyone remember the Crystal Maze? <laughs> the guest, the, the locks there basically say yes. <laughs> this car went down. Wearing this window down. Oh, by the way, I'm from Bolton, we don't have electric windows. You're wearing this window down. <laughs> hey, will you start the fans, please? Do. Best heckle I've ever had. I couldn't even do a comeback to it or anything. But uh, yeah, so as I say, yeah, I'm from Bolton. Uh, now, last time I was here, I've been here before, lovely place, lovely people. Uh, last time I was here, I did get people complaining because I slagged off my old town a little bit too much. Um, I was saying all bad things about Bolton, and it's run down. Do you know Bolton? Mm, yeah, it, it, but I got told I'm not allowed to do that again. I've got to do a positive spin on it. So basically, if you like Mad Max movies, you'll fucking love Bolton. <laughs> That's as close as he gets. No, no, but, but, I mean, I've actually moved uh, recently down to the Midlands because I, I got mugged. No super bit, no super bit. It's, it's a bit late now, but I, I got mugged. I got mugged. Um, there was four of them, uh, and the mugged me, and I always got told that if there's a gang of them that are mugging you, the best thing to do is to knock one out. In hindsight, masturbation was not the way to go. <laughs> Scared them off, but <laughs> still, it wasn't the best thing. I had to report it to the police. The, not, not for masturbation. No, 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 no. I had to report that I got mugged. So, uh, another thing about Bolton is, I never knew this, the police are very underfunded there. Uh, so I went to report it and I said like, yeah, I got attacked, and then the guy he says, did he have uh, blonde hair? Oh, yeah. yeah, he did. He's out the back. Yeah, like, yeah, that cop is here tonight, who knew? And here he is! Uh, so yeah, I saw it. you know, I went, yeah, strange noise. And, did he have glasses? I went, yeah, no, he didn't, no. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I was, what the? I thought there was something wrong with here. And then the last question he asked me, he said, did he have a beard? I went, no, he didn't. Ch -ch -ch -ch. It was guess who? He was doing it on guess who? They don't even have an identity, just doing it on that. Is it Sam? No. <laughs> it does look like him, actually. So that was one of the reasons that I left Bull and I wasn't happy about the way the town was. Another thing was, I did commute to a job very close to here. Now, you don't know it's a safari park? I used to work there. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's the biggest like, oh, really? Yes. I was not one of the exhibits there. <laughs> I worked on the gate, right, okay. So I worked on the gate there, and uh, this guy came one day, he was by himself, he came along, and he said, uh, can I come in? And I was like, uh, no, he can't, because, uh, he goes, is it because I'm on my own? I'm like, no, and he kept butting in. I couldn't get my point across why he couldn't come in. And he went, it's because I'm Chinese, isn't it? I went, whoa, don't play the race card, as you just said before, we're not racist at all. I went, no, it's not that at all. And he kept saying to me, you're racist, you won't let me in, I'm on my own, I'm a Chinese man. I went, no, it's because you're on a fucking motorbike. <laughs> Those of you who don't know Nosey Safari Park, motorbikes don't work though. And he just kept arguing with me and arguing with me, and, and I got really scared, I didn't want to get in trouble, so I said, yeah, go for it. And he went, and I found out two things. I found out I can get fired for one thing. But two things that I found out was monkeys can ride motorbikes. <laughs> and lions like a good Chinese. Uh, <laughs> hey! hey da -da -da -da. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I say, another thing that points out as well about my baldness, I'm aware of it and everything. I've got a twin brother who has a full head of hair. Yeah, I, I drew the short straw there, and uh, people used to say to me, like, you've got a twin, and say, like, you know, do, do you both feel pain at the same time? And I'm like, no, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> getting there, getting there. Oh, no, but I mean, once a year, he does shave his head like me, <clears throat> just to use my passport. <laughs> we do have mistaken identity sometimes, we have mistaken identity. I was out in town, now I'm a liberal person, I don't mind my brother being gay, it's absolutely fine. I'm in town and I know this guy that he fancies is talking to me thinking I'm him. Now, I'm not going to swell things for my brother, so I texted him and I said, that guy's out here, who likes you? He went, oh, just keep him there, keep him impressed, sure thing, will do. And I get another text, don't blow it for me, we ain't going to laugh that. <laughs> 
things you do for family, that's not, that's not one of the things. Oh. So they don't have any children here? No, I mean, not me here. Like, you were like bringing them here, that would be weird. No, yeah, um, I've, I've got four children. Four children. Um, and that's how I figured out I don't fucking like children. Not um, <laughs> no, I, I, I love mine, don't get me wrong, mine are great. Um, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not being funny, but I don't like other people. I probably don't like yours. Um, <laughs> Well, they don't like mine, but it's fine. Now, when it came to naming our children, my partner, she, she named the first three. We had, we had a girl, she named her. We had a boy, she picked the name again. I was getting a bit sick and tired of this. I wanted to pick a name. So the third child, we thought we'd find that the sex in advance. And I went, like, it's going to be a girl. So we're discussing names, and she goes, what about Sarah? And I went, oh, I used to date a girl called Sarah. Didn't. <laughs> so she's not having that. And she went, Carrie, I'm like, oh, you know, I, I once got a lap girl, lap dance of this girl called Carrie. We went through loads of names. I basically sounded like a right slapper. And by the end of it, I picked the name that I wanted because by process of elimination. So we, you know, we picked the name and everything. The day of birth's coming, she's giving birth. NHS are brilliant. It was a boy. <laughs> what about Sean? I've committed now. I went through a phase of college love. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't. Um, so um, I, picked some, I picked the boy's name, David, as well. So there we go, that's how you pick names. You know who's got your children and is on their own here tonight? If you want to pick names for your child and your way, just basically tell them that. So um, and the other thing that I will tell you is you'll think of nicknames for your children as well. You will. I won't tell you my kids. I'm being filmed and I'm not sure what the mother will say. But um, no, no, so uh, my, my, my youngest daughter, she's five years old, and she asked me for a frozen doll. And apparently a Barbie doll in her freezer for a week does not constitute a frozen doll. <laughs> and she cried, she cried, she cried. And I said that one thing that my parents said to me, I went, if you don't stop crying, they don't know so. I'll give you something to cry about, that's what I said, yeah. I went, if you don't stop crying, I'll give you something to cry about. Tell you what, when this, she's gonna stop crying. So I shot a dog. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Strangled it. Anyway, moving on. But no, no so, hey, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a responsible parent, I'm a responsible parent, and in this day and age, you can use Google, you can, you can advise on Google. My eldest daughter was asking me, what's the highest mountain in the world? I'm Google it. What's the deepest ocean in the world? Google it. What's dogging? Google, don't Google it! Why is it on the favourite stuff? No, I'm just giving it. Children, children are great, as I say, you know, I hate everybody else's, I borderline hate me on. Um, they show you up though, they do show you up. So, I've uh, been together with my partner for quite a while now, um, we met in a club, and I only had one chat up line, which was really corny, and you're gonna think it's corny now, well, I, could, I should say to her, you remind me of a firework. And she'll say, why? And I say, because you lit up the room. It's horrible, it's crap. I drank a lot this night, and I remember that chat up line, firework, firework, firework. I got pissed, basically. And uh, I staggered over to her and I love her. You, you remind me of a firework. And she asked me why. I went, because I want a banger. And we're together now for many, many years. So that worked out well. Classy, classy women in Bolton, what can I say? Um, <laughs> and her and my children call me Gru from Despicable Me. They do, my kids call me Gru, they buy me, they buy me everything to do with Gru, they buy me Minion stuff for everything. And um, I say, why'd you do it? Because you look like Gru, you look like Gremlins, but you know, you're not going to see daylight for a while, so there you go. But my friend of mine, he had his legs amputated. I didn't buy him the saw box set for Christmas for that. I bought him socks. But anyway, someone, true story, someone bought him a onesie. True story, that. So I'm going to I guess you can't buy a half seat, so you know what I mean, so there we go. He is aware I do that joke as well before you ask. So, uh, we had our anniversary recently and uh, we watched the film Magic Mike. I was going to ask if anyone heard of that, but someone preempted that question. Like, you've heard of Magic Mike? Basically, uh, no magic. Uh, lots of magic, yeah, no magic, lots of magic. I was expecting magicians. I knew nothing about this film. So I like films where the title tells you what it's about. Like Planet of the Apes is about... Snakes in the Plane is about... Snatch. Yeah, that was what I expected. 
<laughs> Some places that don't work, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> Um, but no, no, so she said like, you know, which we, uh, she asked to me, well, let's try something in the bedroom. Um, what sort of fantasy do you want? And I went, oh, I love that police woman fantasy, you know, when she gets dressed up and everything. So, handcuffs, oh, uniform. Have you done it before? Is that why you're laughing at that one? You know? No, no, but she had the handcuffs, she had the uniform, it was all great, and I was loving it. Up until, <laughs> up until the pepper spray <laughs> and the taser. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh no, so uh, I say, yeah, the bonus. Um, ironically, at school, I was known as Dan Juff Dan. <laughs> I had a full head of hair at school. Uh, not the worst nickname at school, the worst nickname at school was a reserve for this one girl. Now, you know when you're going in, into school and your parents are walking you in and they're seeing you off at the gate? This girl's walking in, she's carrying a bag in, and her mum goes, Kelly! She's got a strap on for a reason! Strap on Kelly for five years. <laughs> Brilliant, that was awful, that one. <laughs> Dan just damn me nothing after that was said. School days, great days of your life and everything. Um, but as I get back to it, I'm going to tell you like one, a couple of last things. Number one is a recently a recent gripe that I've had. I hate it when people say, just in case. They like say, why have you left the milk out? Oh, you know, just in case. Why have you left that cupboard open? Well, just in case I want to go in there. Dan, why is your cock out? Just in case they need a piss. <laughs> It doesn't work all the time, you're not allowed to do that. That's just a recent gripe that I've had the just in case thing and we don't hear that anymore in our household. So, uh, as I say, I'll tell you one last thing. I say my daughter, my youngest daughter's five years old now. To go on the train, for a four year old, it's free. We went on the train this one day, what do you think I told us to do? Say she's four. I said, say you're four. But daddy, I'm five. No, no, you're four. I'm five, you're fucking genius now. No, you're four. I don't want to be. When we're on this train, you're four. Four. Sorted. We get on the train. When we get on the train, she walks down and stops and turns to her right and goes, Look, Daddy, you're sleeping. I have no idea what she's on about. Until I walk down the train, there's the centre wall for sleep. <laughs> no filter on children. I'm like, keep moving. Where's his six little friends? Keep going. Where's Snow White? And then she hits him. And he's not happy, he was known in a seven to us. He, he, he wasn't impressed whatsoever. And um, he's arguing with me in front of me. And I was the bigger, better man. And I was rising up, I can't use any of these lines whatsoever. Can I? And I was like, you know, I was, I was apologizing to him, which is not easy to do when you've got a little girl behind you singing, hi ho, hi ho, shut up. <laughs> so anyway, I walked away and we walked further than the train. I said, Daddy, he was grumpy, wasn't he? Yes, he was, yes, he was. <laughs> Um, anyway, we, we, we found our seat, and uh, the moment of truth had arrived, the conductor was coming down the train, and now I'm worrying now, I'm really worrying. She's already landed me in shit once. Um, <laughs> she's coming down, looking like Hitler. Got closer, she still looked like Hitler. And um, gets to me and says, tickets please, so I passed her my ticket, and where's hers? I went, she's, she's four. Doesn't believe this honest face. Are you trying to say I don't look honest? Cheers, thanks. Uh, doesn't believe me. Oh, and she's four. Turns to her. How old are you, little girl? Oh, I'm five. Oh, get in, thank you. I said, oh. No, she didn't say she's five. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Only I can get an applause break for fucking up. <laughs> Rewind, let's pretend this one didn't happen. <laughs> That DeLorean outside best work. Anyway, she asked her all she was. She said she's four. She didn't say she was five at all. Hey. 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 <laughs> but the conductor, she was very nice. She went, oh, when are you five? When I get off the train. <laughs> there we go. We're so better that 